Hi, in this video, we will see three different examples of databases. The first one is a laboratory database that I have for the chemistry lab. So this is an inventory of all the chemicals in the chemistry laboratory. So I have um, around 160 chemicals. And if I want to look for a chemical starting with A, MM or which has AMM in it in the chemical name. Um, I type in AMM and let's list me there are 12 of them in that database and then right below it lists all the chemicals from that big list. So if I change this list to any other name uh, let's say if it is GLY for glycine that's going to be one and it gives me all the information that I need. So let's go back uh, to do AMM and see um, uh, if we can understand the formula. Uh, right next to AMM, uh, it says that it's uh, looking for maximum of F2 to F161. And this is a helper column. The F column is a helper column. So it's looking all the way from 2 to 161, the maximum. So what's happening here, um, as you can see um, here, um, so it's a sum function. It's looking one cell above F10, and then it's asking, is the text AMM in the text one um, in that row uh, in that chemical? So that's um, this one here, name of the chemical in the table on that row. So if it is a number, it's going to give one, and it's going to add one to the zero, and it's going to give one. So let's take the second one here. So it's going to look for AMM in cell B12 and it's going to find one and it's going to give true to the is number. So then the, the true can be added with one cell above to, uh, to give two. And likewise you generate a list of numbers and then once you've got these numbers, this is the unique key uh, which can be used um, as a simple VLOOKUP or um, uh, using index to retrieve the row number for that particular um, positive value. And that's what's happening here. Um, so if you can switch on and switch off the formula when um, the rows it exceeds um, that number and then you're looking for index of uh, the column B and you're retrieving uh, the row um, number for which it's one. That's the, the first row for which the text AMM is detected. Um, so it's looking for uh, rows 87 to 87, which is going to be one um, in that big array F2 to 161. Um, so it's going to look for one in that big array. Uh, it's going to give the row number for that, that one. So once you get the row number, you can wrap it up in index and you can get the value. So this is the first way um, where you can retrieve um, or filter information from a big list. So I've set up the system for the library catalog as well as for um, the, the laboratory inventory. Uh, Excel is fun. Uh, a similar file can be downloaded from uh, Trick81. Um, the second one is um, from uh, Excel Hero Academy, uh, which I attended um, uh, three years ago. Uh, it's an online course from uh, Daniel Ferry, and he's a fantastic uh, Excel trainer, and his course is up and running, and it's, um, it's qu uh, quite advanced. Uh, and if you've got a data set here, um, uh, up to 5,000 records, and you can get all the data by um, generating um, the uh, using fake name generator.com. Um, so I've got a data set and the filter sheet, this is where all the calculations happen. So it's all ones and zeros and eventually you get the row number. That's all we need. Once you get the row number, you can use the index function to retrieve the cell value. And then you've got um, the view. This is the page which uh, people would be interacting with. Uh, the one in yellow here, this is where you will change the, the criteria. So I can change, um, let's say I'll take out name, um, the, the gender I mean. So listing all the people in New York and there are um, um, 39 of them. Um, let's say if I put, um, it's male and there are 
24 of them and you can have pagination as well so it gives you the first page or the second page rather than having to scroll down all the way uh, unfortunately I can't share this file because it's from um, uh, the Excel Hero Academy course um, so what I um, went ahead and did was uh, can I use Google Docs to recreate this and it was a disaster so I used Google Docs to recreate the same thing um, and this was a new spreadsheet uh, the Google Sheets which was released just a few days ago and that's the data here for the UK which I generated using fake name generator and I used a query function um, which I'll be uh, talking about in a, in a couple of minutes um, time um, the query function is not too bad and but you can see here that it's still very very slow uh, for this data set it's got only 1000 names it is pretty slow with the new spreadsheet and then for um, uh, the Excel heroes um, document it just simply um, wouldn't work fast it's, it's, it's very very slow so if I put in um, the name Cameron um, see it just goes on and on forever and it, it takes quite a while uh, to retrieve all the information uh, the query function seems to be uh, faster but a few minutes ago even this was not loading so I don't know how the new spreadsheets um, from Google uh, the new version is going to work uh, with uh, thousands of rows of data I also tried the query function with the database that we have with uh, 12,000 rows and up to 26 columns and it was slow but um, I had to do the query two or three times and reload the page and it was working sort of okay um, I would like to uh, mention here about query function and Cameron Crest's um, video on query function is a fantastic introduction uh, to uh, Google's query functions and I watched this video from uh, the beginning to end and Cameron has got some advanced um, uh, tips right at the end of the video uh, where he um, uh, produces ad hoc reports uh, I would encourage you to watch this and which I have used um, in my um, work at uh, Friends of Brockwood uh, database for the development um, department and, and it is working well um, so I went ahead and uh, created a, a, um, a dummy data from fake name generator and I wouldn't go and make an elaborative uh, video like Cameron uh, has done uh, but I would like to uh, highlight the robustness of uh, Google query so I'm doing a simple query here um, what is doing is uh, it's going to turn off the formula if the cells b2 and b3 are empty so that it doesn't have to execute the formula and if they have a value in it it's going to generate a query and the query function it needs the sheet name and the range the sheet name doesn't have to have the single quote if it does not have a space in the sheet name so otherwise you have to have a single quote before and single quote after right before the exclamatory mark and then I'm selecting for uh, the columns A, B, E and L which are in here so columns A, B, E and L uh, which are the gender uh, given name city and birthday and then I can have, I can put a condition here where B contains B is the given name so the given name could contain any cell which is listed in B2 and you have to wrap this with a triple code before and after uh, um, joined by an ampersand unlike Excel Google Docs does not accept wildcard um, um, like we use asterisk uh, in Excel so I've used two conditions uh, here where the first name contains whatever is listed in B2 and um, the city contains uh, B3 and let's take a look so here so this all the the names starting with A so it's capital A to indicate all the first names beginning with capital A so if I change that to small a so you can see it only takes the names which has lowercase a in the master list which is pretty good I mean you would have to write either 
a, a fine function uh, to be most case specific um, in, in Excel. And, and here, uh, if I put a small W, it's just not going to pick up because all the city names are in capital uh, um, letters there. So let's take a look here. Um, let's say A, AI. Let's see, are there people starting with AI? No. Uh, let's say um, AY. I think there are many. Um, not with W. Let's take that one down. Okay, so we've got all these people. And let's see if I can filter it further with W. And list all the people whose city contains W in it. So this video, I've listed three different ways um, where you can retrieve data. So the first one is, is Excel uh, formula based one, where uh, the list is on the left and you produce the, the filtered list on the right and you have the criteria here. So that's the first one. And then the second one is um, the data is in a separate sheet and you've got uh, the filtered sheets, which looks exactly like the data. Uh, and you can have a pagination. Um, and then the third one is um, the Google's um, query function, which is pretty similar to what uh, Excel Hero has done. Um, so the, the filtered list looks exactly like the master list, and you can have criteria here. Uh, you can have dates, you can have uh, salary here, uh, then you can uh, specify the range of dates before and after or greater than a particular salary and so on. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, so go ahead and watch uh, Cameron's uh, query example as well as uh, Excel is Fun's um, video on Excel formula based methods to retrieve information. And if you want to do the course Excel Hero, I think it's up and running and you may want to check out um, uh, Daniel's blog, excelhero.com. Uh, and um, here we go. Uh, and he's got some fantastic um, material in his blog. Um, so I encourage you to um, watch it. Thank you very much for watching the video and um, let me know if you have any comments or questions. Uh, most of the files used in this video will be downloadable.